again everyone. I couldn't choose which book to read so I actually chose two. And this one is called Giraffes Can't Dance. Hmm. I know that lots of people at home are trying new things that they haven't done before, including me. And dancing is one of those things that we can all do. Let's have a look in this book to see why. This book is written by Giles Andrea and Guy Parker Rees. I'll show you that one. Published by Orchard Books. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh, poor Gerald. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The, war, the war dogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha, with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Oh, it's not kind, is it? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But something, sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I am dancing! Gerald cried. Oh, he looks very happy. Then... One by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how! But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that story. I really did. 
and I hope you're trying lots of things at home, including dancing. Looking forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.